Hello my Funatics, it is Fufu here and today we have got the dawn of a new era. This is Gen 7. On Showdown, Gen 7 OU has just been released and I'm gonna be ho I'm gonna be hopping in right now and uh, I'll, uh, I could show you the team I guess because we really have no idea what's going on because you can see I don't even have EVs on my Pokemon so that's how little clue we have <laughs> what's going on right now. I've decided to use some weird stuff. This is I, I really don't know what's going on out there at the moment. I know that there are certain uh, Ultra Beasts that are really broken, but I've decided to steer clear of some of them. In fact, I've only got two new Pokemon on this team, but it's because I want them to show off and I want to actually win some stuff, which might be quite tricky with some of the things out there. But anyway, we've got Tapu Koko. I know that a lot of people will be using Zerkatry right now, but this guy hits really hard because he can have a Choice Specs boost and the Electric Surge boost too. He doesn't get that boosted any further, which Zerkatry can with its ability and stuff. Its ability, every time it gets a kill, it will boost its special attack but it's slow to start with so that's the main thing you can have a scarf one but then um it's it's scarf and i don't think it's that good it won't be as powerful as this guy i don't think um so this guy also has the dazzling gleam stab as well which will help with some dragons um i just wanted to try him out i wanted to be a hipster and not use the zerk tree that everyone will be using the next thing that we're going to be trying out is pheromosa the samosa and this thing is really good at U-turning. It's got a very high attack stat and it's got a lot of speed. So you can put a life orb on that. I've decided to go with a life orb because then the ice beam gets boosted and that's good for hitting all the rocky helmet landorus that are running around. Also, if there are any Garchomp there, it'll catch them too. High jump kick hits really hard. Poison jab is for the fairies and that's basically the set. Uh, we've then got Aegislash who has been freed from ubers which is great and he this this set is actually not the set that i want to use i want to use a special attacking set uh, with minus speed so that we can get our attack off last after the opposing Aegislash, slash so that they'll be in attack form and this way i guess that's fine uh, we will be able to shadow sneak stuff. I don't think we're actually going to shadow sneak stuff. I think we're just going to get um, dual stab with a sub because he forces a lot of switches. Um, so I think that this is probably a very good set to use. Then we've got Alandros with the Rocky Helmet. Um, this guy's going to be U-turning around, getting the rocks up. That's basically all he will be doing. Fine, we're we getting there. So we've got a specially defensive Storm Breaker Mew, and there are a lot of people who just aren't prepared for Storm Breaking at the moment. Wisp has been nerfed though, so I might change that to Toxic, but it really helps out dealing with some of the physical attackers. So I'm going to see how that goes for now. And finally, question mark the Gudra, which is Assault Vest because Assault Vest is really necessary. I've got Earthquake on there to do some damage to some of the electric types, but actually Draco is definitely hitting the hardest. Um, so we can just see how we go. There were some other the Ultra Beast that I want to try out, but this is the first time and, I, and I'm very tentatively testing out the meta and seeing how that goes. Okay, so there are lots of Dug Trio at the moment, which you do need to be careful of, and I could potentially put U-Turn on this guy because then he would be able to switch out from them, which would be pretty nice. I might sort that out over it because um, I do see quite a few. They've got an attack boost now, uh, which means that they can actually kill stuff. Uh, which they couldn't really do very easily before. I think he's probably going to lead with Ferramosa. I don't really see there's too much of a problem with me leading with Lando. He does have the Curum though, which is slightly spook. Uh, if that's Scarf Curum, that could be a big problem to me. Uh, I want to lead with this actually because he doesn't seem to have many good answers outside of Aegislash. I was considering using a Magnet Pool Pokemon, so he goes with the Tapu Fini. I won't be able to take this out with a Poison Jab, so I'm just going to U-turn right out of there, as he probably will just go straight for the Moonblast, which is fine. I can either switch in my Mew or go into my Aegislash. Aegislash might be really crucial for taking down the... Uh, wow, that did so much damage. May might be really crucial for taking down Kyurem though, so might want to preserve that. So Mew might be a good one to go into here just to spam some burns. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Oh no, I can't spam burn here. Okay, I'm just going to taunt it right now though. At least I can do that and I should outspeed it. Um, so it won't be able to get a light screen up. I'm not really sure what it's going to try to attempt. The opponent just left and might be coming back. 
Uh, I'll cut to when they come back. Okay, and my opponent's back. They're just switching out into the Aegis Lash. That's okay. Um, I kind of want to go into my Landris now. I could get my rocks up. That's not a bad play. I think I'll do that. Uh, I don't think it'll be physical though. Special is definitely better in this meta, yeah. But I can take that. Uh, whether I want to get rocks up, I think he'll either King Shield or switch. So, oh, he might not have to actually because uh, because of Reflect. But I don't think that he'd risk it because Aegis Slash is really useful and probably his only real stop to my Feromosa. He probably does have Scarf Lando. If it's Scarf Lando, it's not as scary because it has to lock itself in but we'll see uh i don't know how i'm going to deal with metagross i guess my own age of slash is probably the best way to do that so tapu finney comes back in uh at this stage probably just going into tapu coco is my best play because you can't do too much about that i get rid of his misty terrain um and now i could either vault switch or predict dog trio i think i'm going to predict dog trio and go into Gudra. What else would switch into this? Uh, maybe this. I will be able to take a hit from that unless it's banded or physical, but I don't think it will be. So I'm going to go into this as I think that Dogtrio might be coming in. He's got. It's perfectly safe to come in here. No, he goes into the Metagross. That's not ideal for me. Uh, if this thing sets up speed, I'm going to go into Aegis Slash. I think that Aegis Slash is a very good play here, as I can just go for a Shadow Ball. His team doesn't seem to like Shadow Balls, and I do have the lefties on this set, which is really nice. Um, so just firing off a Shadow Ball, I think I'm fine here. I can't get trapped by Dog... Whoa, that did way too much damage. But I can get that hit off there. I get the special defense drop, which might be really nice, and I'm definitely going to King Shield here just to get the recovery, because when I bring it in later... Um, I should be able to recover that off as he's going for a Meteor Mash and dropping his attack, which is really weird because now I can actually live a hit and go for the Shadow Ball. As he goes into Tapu Finney again, which does get the stuff up again. Um, I guess that she'll want to try for another screen. So what have we seen from her? I, I think that it, she'll probably have Scold, which will probably break my sub, which is unfortunate. Um, I would like to get more recovery on this thing. So you know what? I think I'm going to sub here. Yeah, and then I can protect and get at least one more hit off on it and stall out the light screen a little bit. Uh, which is good because if the light screen go down um, she'll probably want to set up the light screen I can shadow ball here there's no point going for anything else it gets a better special defense drop rate I'll be able to recover up a bit more health and this thing should be dead to rocks next time it comes in so like sub sub AG is really really nice um, I really like it anyway Okay, as Dogtrio comes in, you aren't trapping me in any shape or form. I'm just going to King Shield again to get more recovery. As, yeah, that's fine, I think. Yeah. And uh, try to stall out the things a bit more. Shadow Ball again is fine. And we do really nice damage to that thing. I'm going to King Shield again get up my health and then because I'm a ghost type I can switch out uh, yeah I think this thing probably would be able to take me out here so I'm going to switch out into this as he won't expect that because he probably just derped on not being able to switch out his reflect goes down so I can earthquake anything on his team right here I don't think that he can take me out with anything so that's really good and if this thing goes down, then my Tapu Koko has a really nice time against this team. Really, really good time. Although, he's got one thing that outspeeds potentially two of Kyurem is Scarf. But yeah, um, I think he just derped on not trapping me. Because I'm a ghost type and ghost types cannot be trapped. So Kyurem comes in and takes hits. That's really nice. Do we see lefties here? I think that's Scarf. 
so I can probably go into Mew. I think that's probably my play. Uh, I've got stuff. I, don't, I definitely don't want to switch into Aegislash Slash because it takes on his team so well. So I think just going to Mew here is really good. It might be Life Orb, which is fine. Mew isn't really doing too much for me. Um, and I'm going to uh, fire off a Wisp. If he goes into this, I think actually Psychic is my play here. Like, he can probably take me out with Draco if he has it. No. Uh, Aegislash. So I could taunt and sack my Mew. I don't think I'll do... This dies, doesn't it? Does he have Defog on anything? Does anything get Defog on his team? Uh, What's my best way of dealing with it? This will outspeed. I think I do just want to Wisp this. Because then it's not getting lefties. Oh, that's not what I should have done. I should have taunted it. I'm going to taunt it now. I should have taunted it last turn. But now it's not recovering stuff. Which is helpful. Because I don't think Lando's EQ. Uh, if it's got... Shadow Sneak probably doesn't KO. If I taunt it now. Then what happens is. It can't King Shield. So it's forced out. So I get to go for another Earthquake to kill something. Um, but... This could be a, a tricky thing to deal with. So now I can just Earthquake. Probably kill the Dog Trio. Uh, Tapu Koko will be hitting that really hard. Okay, he just sacks the cure and that was definitely the right play there. Well done. And he can go into land uh, to Metagross here. I think that that's a really good play. We haven't seen... If he has Sneak... And that's because I want to. I kind of want to preserve this with the Aegislash. Slash. If he has Shadow Sneak, um, well, I can go into Tapu Koko after well, something will have to die here. What is my Gudra doing? Uh, Gudra is not doing too much. It might be able to take on this. It will be able to get a hit. But I don't think it'll do too much damage. I think that it's not as useful. I'm going to switch into that and then go into Tapu Koko. A Zen Headbutt comes out. And I'll just go for... I may as well go for Fire Blast. In case he misses a move because he's only got inaccurate moves and Earthquake. He's probably going for Earthquake right now. And yeah, I think if I go into Tapu Koko... Oh, I really want to go for Dazzle, but I don't think that's the play there. Or I can go into Ferramoso really safely here, force him out. Unless he's got Bullet, and we haven't seen the last move yet. He did go for Zen Hubbard there. Uh, hmm, this isn't ideal actually. Not ideal. I think. F can Ferramoso take a hit? Ferramoso is not as useful as my other things though. So if I go into that and go for a U-turn. Does Bullet take me out? It might take me out. I Pheromos is really, really... Oh, what am I doing? Slash Calc is what I need to do. Really, really weak. So let's see if I can... Is Pheromos a hit? No, not yet. It's not in the Calc. So we need to look in the team builder. I am... 7137. Uh, not... So we just Calc a bullet punch onto a Pheromosa <laughs> Metagross all out attacker bullet punch it could well have the ice punch I don't know yeah that can take me out because I'll switch in on rocks so I think I have to go into Tapu Koko but because of his uh, Doug Trio I have to go for Dazzling Gleam and I think he will switch in here but if he makes the right play, which would be going, uh, does it? Does he? He doesn't even need this. So, see, that was a wrong play because he could. Yeah, that was a wrong play. Ha! Got him! Got him! Um, because he he didn't need that as much. This really puts in the work against his team now it's actually a huge threat to his team um if he had let me kill his metagross he could have come in and revenged with uh the 
yeah, the dog trio. So here, what I'm just going to do is probably sack my. Do I sack my Lando? Uh, I kind of need it to kill it, so maybe not. Um. Yeah, I can. I'm. I'm gonna sack my Lando. That's probably really stupid. I probably need to sack my Feromosa right here. Shadow Ball comes out, and now I could go into. Uh, Tapu Koko and just click Thunderbolt probably is the play. I think Thunderbolting stuff is a really good play here. Um, I'm Specs with the Electric Surge boost. That should do tons of damage to everything. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. So 433 special attack plus like a Specs on top of that. Probably doesn't take out Aegislash from here. So this might be a misplay. But then, if this goes down, Pheromosa does a load of work as well, actually. So that's good. So this dies. That's a decent play. And then I guess he goes into his own Pheromosa. But I can go into my Aegislash on that. Or maybe he switches out his Aegislash. I don't... Uh, switches back into his Aegislash. But that would have been a weird play, because then he's just sacked his thing for nothing. So I guess Pheromosa is the play here if he's got Poison Jab on it. If he's going to go for a Poison Jab, then I'm switching into my Aegislash and probably getting up a sub. I don't think it gets anything to touch me. I, don't, I really don't think it gets anything to touch Aegislash. So if I can get up a sub here with my Aegislash, I'm looking really good. So he's U-turning. That was a good play because I'm actually now in Earthquake range. Yes, so uh, this is when I really want Shadow Sneak. So I'm obviously going to King Shield here because I really need that recovery. And, uh, hmm. That was a good play by him. Fer my Feromosa. It will die to a Bullet Punch. I think I do want to switch into it here, though. Yeah, I think I've lost this one, but it's really close. If he doesn't have the bullet punch, then I'm okay. But if he does, then I'm not. But I think he does. Yeah, he does have the bullet punch. So what that means is I go into Tapu Koko now. He probably goes into his Aegislash. Uh, I could Volt Switch here. Well, mm, that doesn't really help me. No, that doesn't help me at all. As he goes straight into Feromosa, this is dead. That's just dead. That was a bad play, because that was his way to revenge this. Uh, I might just... No, I don't kill this. Okay, maybe he kills me. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. I'm good. I'm good. Ish. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not so good. I'm really not so good. Uh, because his, his Metagross still... Well, I think it probably is a roll. He got 60% with his Metagross last time. I'm on 54, so I'm I'm pretty sure it's a roll, but I'm pretty sure he's going to get it as well. Uh, going to King Shield here. And we can see this is going to be so close. This is going to be so close. Uh, if only I had Shadow Sneak. <laughs> Yeah, he does manage to take me out. So that will be the first game. That was really, really close. Let's get another one. Let's do another one. My Mew didn't do too much there, but it's just to be aware because some people are already trying stall. Okay, so it looks like we've got Slush Rush Sand Slash. Sl That's so hard to say. Slush Rush Sand Slash. That's really hard to say. And things going on. Uh, lots of things that don't like my sneaky earthquake on Gudra, which is cool. I think U-turn is very good here, but also I need to be aware that this might be like a Scarf Latios, so I need to be aware of that. Uh, Scylla Steelers here, uh, that's not ideal for me. If I went, in, if I had started with Tapu Koko, um, then that would have been better. He's just going to get rocks up right now, like this will just take him out. 
air slash is not very effective, which is great. Thunderbolt just takes this out. It's fantastic. It's so good. As he goes into Heatran, and that's going to be two hit KO'd. That's just two hit KO'd because Specs electric terrain boosted Thunderbolt is so powerful. And now he's going to go into this. Probably two hit KO'd. Yeah, that's two hit KO'd. He might outspeed. Uh, no, he's not going to outspeed. He cannot outspeed, even if he's Scarf. <laughs> so this is why I wanted to try out Tapu Coco. Tapu, no, no, no switch ins apart from ground types. Dog Trio is everywhere at the moment, which is really cool to see. It's really cool to see that it's got such a big buff. So Ninetales comes in. This can probably live a hit uh, because of its natural special bulk. So I think the play to make is just to go into Aegislash and it goes for Calm Mind. See, I would have expected maybe Nasty Pot over that, but I think Flash Cannon will still take it out because I'm very powerful. He might go into Heatran, but I don't think he will after setting it up. That was a crit. That wasn't very nice. That was a bit rude. It does get Heat Wave, which would potentially be a better option for hitting Steel types. That would be powerful. So Sand Slash is here. Uh, I th I th does it get Earthquake still? I don't know, but I'm going to... Uh, do I want a King Shield? It might Swords Dance in my face, though. And I'm a little bit scared of it. I'm a little bit scared of it. I think I'm going to go straight into Mew. Because Mew is kind of bulky and it can throw off a Will-O-Wisp. Uh, as it does go for a Swords Dance. I'm not sure if it will be able to Oko me. If I can get... I don't think it will be able to Oko me. And if I can get this Will-O-Wisp off, then I'm good. I could probably switch straight into Aegislash, actually. Does it learn... I... Okay, well, if it crits me, then it probably can. Uh, it gets to 502 speed, potentially. I don't think it will be that, but that's what it can get to. That's really not ideal. So there's potentially only one turn of hail left. So I can go back into this. I'm just going to King Shield here to get whoa, a little bit more lefties back. As soon as the hail runs out, this thing isn't a threat. So I'm not too worried about it like setting up more on me or anything like that because uh, yeah I could, should hopefully be able to deal with it with this so if I can just get that King Shield off Iron Head it gets the attack drop now which is fantastic and Hail's still there though uh, but it's attacking me with Iron Head if it had Earthquake it would have used it there because then it wouldn't have got the uh, King Shield drops so the best move here is Shadow Ball it hits everything it has a higher rate oh my god does, what is this thing Okay, so we can take it all the way down, get that special defense drop, as I said. I think what I'll do now is just King Shield again to try and... Oh, yeah, I kind of have to King Shield. As he's going into Heatran now. What did we see on this thing? Lefties? Yeah, so it's not going to be getting any lefties recovery. So the hail will be gone by the time that the sand slash comes in. This thing isn't actually going to be useful for anything else. So I'm just going to uh, do that, do nothing, and go into how much did Thund the Thunderbolt do to this last time? 60%. That's looking like it's a safe option right now. It would be a very low roll if I didn't get to kill that now. If it has protect, then it will be closer but it would still be in my favor but yeah i can just take out that heat run right now as latios is the switch in here and it's a little bit scary i could go for another thunderbolt but i don't think that's what i want to do it's this isn't actually that scary because i've got this switch out speeds um i guess that actually landorus is my sack here if it goes for psyshock i can take that really easily it goes for draco i wouldn't have been able to take that very easily but uh, he does miss, and if he did that, he'd get the special attack drops, which would mean that I could actually go into my Gudra if I had so wanted, but I wouldn't have wanted to because uh, Celestia is a good switching on that. So I actually do live that, so if he had hit the first one, that would have helped him quite a lot, but now I can U-turn out, go into my Samosa, and get the U-turn off here, as he probably goes into Celestia, and then I can pick up another kill with Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko is really cool. Okay. Stacking off Sand Slash, that makes sense. And I can go into uh, Tapu Coco here 
because I can either take this out with... I could probably take them both out with the uh, Thunderbolt, to be fair. And in fact, I'm going to do that because it's style points. I can just sweep with that. I don't actually know if this will take out the Celesteela now because it's so strong. GG, my friend. It's so bulky, uh, but I, I, I had other ways of dealing with that too. Did I? I guess fire blast on my Gudra. Uh, we'll get one more and then we'll call it a day with this stupid meta that really needs to settle down. I do I have no idea what's going on. What is that thing that doesn't have a sprite yet? Oh, an Aegis Slash. Everything from Gen 7 plus the Aegis Slash which doesn't have a sprite. Is this? That might be Blade Form Aegis Slash actually. I'm not sure if you can do that at the moment. Whether you could just pick the Blade Form, that would be poop. Uh, I've got Mew which will help out with Toxapex which is cool. Um, I don't have any hazard removal though, <laughs> that's probably an oversight on my part. So it's going to set up stuff all over my face, that would not be nice. Does he have an immunity to electric? No. Oh boy, Tabu Coco. Oh, that's a golem. I thought he said I looked at my own team. Oh, okay, no, that's a golem. Right, so I'm going to Volt Switch here, uh, as that should do really nice damage to this golem. Golem. And then I'll go into my Landorus. Oh my god, that was a crit. Starting strong. And we'll go into this as he might Earthquake. Stealth Rock. I want to get my own rocks up. Uh, it would be unfortunate if he did something crazy like HP iced me. I don't think he'd get that though, so that's alright. As he's going into the Incineroar right now. Why would you switch in an Incineroar on this? I don't know. I'm probably going to outspeed and just kill it with Earthquake, I think. That is what I will decide to do. That is what I'll decide to do. Okay, so he does actually outspeed me. But I have the Rocky Helmet and he takes a recoil and whatever he wants to do next, he will die. I might go into this. Uh, what's that going to help with? Not too much else. If he goes for a Flare Blitz, then it dies. He probably won't go for it. He does go for a Flare Blitz and just kills himself. Cool. And Gudra is here looking safe and sound. And we can see what's going on. I'm going to try out a load more stuff though. If you guys want to suggest things that you want to see me try to use, I've got a load of crazy sets that might come to you in forms of Showdown Live or that might come to you in the form of like more meme videos with sweeps and stuff because there are some really cool sets I want to try. Uh, but yeah, for now, this is what we're doing. So yeah, let me know what you would like to see. I think I'll be able to live an... Oh, Aurora Veil, vale, that's cool. Uh... I can live a blizzard though. Maybe not. Maybe I can't live a blizzard. Oh my god, that was the that was the Z move. And I still lived it, but actually <laughs> I didn't do as much damage with my fire blast that time, so <laughs> it didn't even matter. Uh yeah, again, no electric immunity, so yeah, I think I'll just volt switch here. And then maybe go into my Samosa. I think I'll go into my Samosa. Because it'll probably bring in Toxapex, which isn't ideal, but I can go into Stu the Moo, which deals with it. Or I could go into. No, let's, let's get the new guys doing some stuff, doing some things and stuff. Tapu Coco is really cool, though. I'm really enjoying it. I like the electric surge ability. A lot more than the beast ability. It's just like a moxie for your highest stat, which is cool, but it's not as exciting as getting electric surge off. Why has he gone into golem? This doesn't live a U-turn. I'm just going to U-turn on it. And then... Oh, shoot! He had the cost app. To be fair, I, that was cool. That was pretty cool. Um, I did, like, Tapu Koko is way more important. So that's fine. I think uh, Lando is actually a really good one here. I can get an Intimidate on anything and go from there. What am I scared of? Uh, oh, nah. Drampa's kind of spook. Uh, I guess Manig is good here. Hmm. 
Uh, Mew's not still, like Mew. Mew is good for things, but it's got recovery and should be able to take these hits. And that looks like it's specs as well, actually. So I should be able to Will O Wisp and then recover next turn. Yeah, that's specs. So I can recover this turn and and deal with this. It should miss some as well. It should miss some. Should miss some. The burn nerf is really interesting, really interesting. So he does go into Galissapod here. So my Mew is really healthy and actually Mew takes on the, the other two of his Pokemon. So I'm gonna go into Lando here to get the Intimidate so that I don't have to go straight into my Aegislash or Tapu Koko actually. Liquidation, nice move. Now I can go into Tapu Koko and go for Volt Switch. He has to really switch into Drum Power, which I can deal with, we've already seen. I can deal with it. Uh, Galissapod will be really low next time he comes in. As he does go into Drampa, it still, it still should take a good amount from this. Yeah, it really does. And I can go into Mew here. And I guess I I could soft boiled or I could psychic. Psychic makes things go quicker. Oh, it kills. I didn't think that it would kill. So that's quite nice. Um, yeah, this thing gets. Uh, its ability is silly because it might. Yeah. It <laughs> <laughs> when it's uh, when its health drops below half, it switches out. So he just came in to take rocks damage to be switched out by his own ability. So that's pretty unfortunate. This thing I'm gonna taunt because I don't want it toxicing me. That would be the worst thing in the world. Uh, a lot of people are raving about this Pokemon. I think it's really cool and I really like that a water poison gets recovery, gets regenerator, very viable, but its attack stats are really low. Regenerator is by far its best ability, so you can say that what's it called? Merciless. It, ev if your opponent if your opponent is poisoned, then all your attacks crit it. So you can say even though it has low attack and special attack you can do a lot of damage because you can crit poison people but regenerator is a far better ability uh so yeah it, it, i don't think that though i think that there's going to be issues i think there's going to be issues basically so i'm gonna psychic that um so he's got the stockpile scold see that yeah that here because i've got the the lefties i'm not too concerned about burns because i know that if i get burned I, my lefties just negate it. GG poopy. Apparently I'm poopy. That's rather mean. Anyway, that's gonna be all for now. Tapu Koko did a ton of work. Really, it was a bit of a shame that I didn't win that first one because it was kind of close and it came down to... I think I could have played it better, basically. But, yeah, this meta's looking mental. There are so many more Pokemon that I want to try out. I think that because it's so broken at the moment, it's so broken that you can't really even get great anti-meta strats going on. Um, you can't use some of the weirder stuff, so we'll go and, we're going to have to wait a bit until some of the other things go away and then and then see how it goes. But it's really fun, really great that we can try out these Pokemon in Showdown. Um, I will be doing a lot more of the uh, a lot more of the Showdown stuff. I hope you're enjoying it and bringing you a load more sun and moon content. So all that's actually said is I've been Fufu, you've been awesome, and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.